in 2019, we still have kids going without, going unsupervised after school, going without an essential meal. And what we're trying to do is support all those aspects of need to support the kids and their families. The Boys and Girls Club of the Big Island has six site locations throughout the island. Our flagship is here in Hilo. We're into our 67th year. We also have um, programs in Keao, Pahoa, um, Pahala, Ocean View, Na'alehu, and in Kona in Kealakehe. We're actually the uh, first Boys and Girls Club in the state of Hawaii and the longest running. When the Boys Club first started, it was heavily uh, revolved around athletics. Um, a huge baseball program, football program, um, basketball, and as the needs in the community evolve for families, um, the Boys and Girls Club of the Big Island has evolved also. Every day, we're transporting kids to our site locations, whether that's a van shuttle from the school to our programs, or we do a walking school bus, where we actually walk down as a staff, um, hui up the kids, and do an organized walk up to our programs. We started a meal program about two years ago, and that developed in identifying that a lot of our kids who are going to school are not only going to school for academics, they're going to, they're going to school to eat. For the first week that we started our program, one of our kids, he was about eight years old at the time, came up to our auntie who, were, who was serving the food and asked auntie, hey, can I have a piece of tin foil? And auntie was, how come you need one piece of tin foil for your evening meal? He said, oh, because I like to take home for my brother and my mom. And that really communicated to us that what we're doing is a good thing, is an important thing, and is a needed thing. Understanding that a child's meal might be their last at 11.30, 12 o'clock at school, we wanted to do something for the families where each evening they would get a free meal before going home. So we developed a program to support providing kids healthy snacks or a full meal each night before going home as part of our program. Supported um, by OHA, we've developed our Mohala Ike academic program. It's really a daily support program that works with kids that provides homework assistance and specialized tutoring daily at our Hilo and Keao site locations. We're providing approximately 200 kids free homework assistance. We're bringing in specialized teachers and tutors to work with the kids. And we know that some of our kids are unable to afford the high cost of private after school care the Sylvan tutorings, the Kumon tutorings, and we're providing that same quality academic support for them at very low cost. Our volunteers, our workers, our staff members, our board of directors, it's one big family, one big ohana on this canoe, this vessel of youth development. But to save money for kids and programming, we often take on that kuleana. We wear many hats. So many times I'm behind the scenes, writing grants, working on fundraisers. I'm out there mowing the lawn, taking out the trash, printing t-shirts for our staff and our kids to use. And that's, that's the way you do it. We, we do this so that the monies that we do bring in go directly to our services for the kids. People who work here aren't working for the money. They're working for the reward of seeing the kids and watching them develop and grow, watching them succeed, watching them with their challenges, and really supporting them through that. We're really providing a safe haven, a place for them to go after school, 
to engage with other youth in a positive way, to have mentors, to have adult volunteers, coaches that really show them the way and provide them with opportunities to enhance their development. If you invest in the kids now, our communities will be stronger. Our communities will be flourishing. And the problems that we're seeing right now, today, will be addressed by these kids.